they go regularly to their optometrist and have their eyes tested. Well, thank you very much, Viv, and all the best for uh, the Awareness Week. Thank you very much indeed. Coming up next, we meet Mahi Drysdale. If you have just joined us, welcome to Central News. Mahi Drysdale has become a household name all over the country, especially with his recent win of gold in the 2012 Olympics. But it hasn't always been smooth sailing. Mahi tells us the story of overcoming challenges in his career. Hi Mahi. Now, first of all, tell us about your success last year. Um, yeah, last year was a, a great year for me. Um, obviously, I'd, I'd been uh, you know, aiming for the Olympic gold medal for, for 12 years, so um, it, wasn't, it wasn't all plain sailing. Um, you know, I'd gone through the year pretty well. I'd beaten my biggest rival by five seconds at the, the final uh, sort of testing regatta, and then uh, three days later I got hit by a car and, and got a, quite a severe shoulder injury six weeks before the Olympics. So, you know, that was um, not a, an ideal build-up and uh, certainly brought a little bit of stress, but, you know, to get through that and still win was uh, hugely satisfying. As everyone wants to know, how did it feel to win gold at the Olympics? Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty awesome feeling, especially when you know how much work and, and how much effort went into that, that medal. Um, you know, it was, it was one of the things that the first feeling I actually had was just relief. Um, relief that it was over, the relief that I'd achieved it and, um, you know, then the, the sort of elation started and nine months later I'm still smiling and, uh, you know, still very proud of, of what I achieved. Can you give us a bit of a run through of your career in the sport of rowing to date? Yeah, so I, I started rowing at the top level in 2001 and um, took me four years to, to make the, the sort of top crew, which at that point was the Coxus Four, and went to the Olympics in, in Athens, finished fifth. Uh, and then, then that's when I changed tact and uh, went into the single scale. So the past eight years I've, I've been in the single and, uh, you know, had a, a fairly good success rate of uh, won five world championship titles, um, one silver medal at the, the world champs. Uh, and then an uh, Olympic bronze, Olympic gold. So, you know, it's, uh, it's been a, a great few years and, um, you know, it's been great to also be involved in a very successful Rowing New Zealand um, program, which, uh, you know, has, has brought up a lot of crews and, and London was great to, to be involved winning uh, five medals, um, you know, for, for New Zealand, which was, uh, you know, fantastic and, and the best results we've ever had in rowing. So it's a really exciting time to be involved. Now, you were diagnosed with osteoarthritis in 2010. Can you tell me a little bit about this condition? Yeah, so, so basically I had a, a disc injury, um, which, which then led on to, to osteoarthritis. And, you know, it's, it's something, basically what it is, is two bones grinding together, and uh, that's in my, my low back. And uh, so it took a, about a year until I actually diagnosed what the problem was. And, and it's been something that, you know, it's just, just trying to manage it and, and stay on top of it. And, and if I flare it up, you know, it's a... Uh, three to ten days out of the boat, um, so it's, it's always trying to you know read my body and and try to stay on top of it so that it doesn't flare up and and uh, affect me. And that must have presented a few challenges in your career. Yeah, it's it's been um, you know it's been something I've had to live with since two ten and and something I've had to manage. So you know that's meant a, a complete ch change in training um, methodology. And and while we used to row twice a day, now I row once a day and I'm and, uh, and on the bike for the second session. So, you know, that's, that's been one of the, the keys to, to managing it is, is just not putting my body in a position where, where I can flare it up as, as much, which uh, obviously rowing aggravates it more than cycling. So what have you used to help with the pain? Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's something that, you know, the, the pain is, is always there. So it's, it's trying to w find ways to manage that. And um, the Nature's Support Back Belt is, has been hugely beneficial to me. Um, you know, basically I put it on every morning before I go rowing and, and you know, warms up my back and, and just releases all those muscles, you know, lets a bit of blood flow in, into that area. And I've found that to be, you know, hugely beneficial in um, just, just letting my back, uh, you know, move freely and, and not cause me so many problems. So that's been with me, um, you know, since, since I hurt my back. Uh, Every single day, um, out training, racing, uh, I've, I've worn it, and uh, you know, found it to be hugely beneficial. So, how exactly does it work? 
Yeah, it's, it's basically just like putting a, a small heater on your back, um, and and you know the the fur is a hollow fibre, so it traps in a lot of a lot of warmth, um, whether it's wet or or uh, not. And obviously, I sweat a lot and get wet through rowing, so even when it's wet, it's still warm, and and so it just warms up the area. So you know what I say to people is if if a hot water bottle or or you know jumping in a spa pool helps your back. Um, this is, is something that, that is likely to, to help uh, you know, relieve some of the, the pain and you know, it's just, just that blood flow and, and keeping it warm. And are there any statistics on how many New Zealanders suffer from back pain? Yeah, eight out of ten Kiwis, you know, at some point in their, their lives struggle with back pain and, and you know, it's something that until I had this, um, I didn't realise how debilitating back pain can be. Um, you know, it was something I'd had sore backs in the past, but never to the point where you know, when I when I first did, I couldn't couldn't move, I couldn't get out of bed. You you living with constant pain, and it's not a it's not a nice place to be at all. So, you know, it's it's something that you certainly want to to tr to try anything. And, and I know for me, I tried a huge amount of different therapies and and uh, you know products to to try to try to uh, increase um, you know the or help the, the back pain and, and uh, get through it. And are the products just for back pain? Um, yeah, at this stage, um, you know, mainly for, for back pain, but also as a preventative thing, um, especially if you're doing a lot of lifting and bending, you know, it's good to, to keep those muscles warm. Um, and, and it's something that, uh, you know, it's, it's something that, that can't help you, whether you're suffering from pain or, um, you know, you're, you're doing those, those sort of heavy lifting exercises. So what is lined up next for Mahi Drysdale? Yeah, for, for me, um, you know, the next challenge is, is getting back in the boat and uh, moving on towards Rio. So, you know, that's in uh, just over three years' time now and it's, it's a, um, you know, an exciting time for me um, as, as it's a bit of a challenge. I've had nine months off and I've, I've got to try to put it all together and find my speed. So, you yeah, know, that's, that's really the, the next goal is, is moving forward to do that. That is the news for today. We really want you to be involved. So like us on Facebook and let us know your views. If you have news including your own video and photos, go to our website and hit upload. Thanks for joining us. I will be back tomorrow night with more guests from in and around the regions. I'm Hilary Entwistle. Have a lovely evening.